Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Signing with Omar. Today's video is going to be on how to sign animals. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, before we go to the different types of animals, let me show you how to sign animal. Simply take both hands, bring your fingers together, bend them up against the chest, the tips of the fingers touch the chest, and go like this twice. That's how you sign animal. Now for the first animal we're going to do, which is alligator, you just simply take both hands, make the claw hands, which you'll see throughout this video, is fives with the fingers bent. So you take the claw hand and you bring them together twice like this. Let me show you from the side. That's how you sign alligator. Now for the next sign, which will be bat, you simply cross your hands over, make fists, and then you take the one hand, you bend them as if they're X's, and then they touch the chest twice. Or I've seen it this way, either way. That's how you sign bat. For the sign beaver, we know beavers have these very large teeth in the front, so you're gonna take both hands, bend them like X's, and you're gonna bring them together twice. This is it from the side. That's how you sign beaver. For the sign bear, simply bring the arms, fold them across the chest, and these become the claws right here. And you're gonna scratch your chest twice. That's how you sign bear. For the sign bird, simply take this hand, your dominant hand, and that's going to mimic the beak, and you're going to bring these fingers together twice. That's how you sign bird. For the animal bull, you simply take your Y hand, and that Y goes right up against the forehead. That's how you sign bull. For the sign cat, we know cats are known for their whiskers. So you're gonna pretend as if you're taking one of the whiskers and pulling on it a little bit. That's how you sign cat. For the sign chicken, it's the same as bird. You simply take these two fingers, which is your index finger and your thumb, and bring them together twice. Now, if you have a slew of birds and a bunch of birds you don't know the sign for, what I typically do is I would sign bird and then I would sign name and then fingerspell that type of bird. Uh, maybe it's a peacock or some very unusual type of bird you don't know about and you don't know the sign, you just simply sign bird and fingerspell what that bird is. For the sign cow, you just simply take the Y hand, the thumb is gonna to touch the temple, and you're gonna bring it to, down like this twice. The thumb still stays on the temple. That's how you sign cow. Now for the sign deer, you're gonna pretend as if they're antlers growing out of the temple, so you take the five hands, touch the temples, and go up a little bit. That's how you sign deer. For the sign dolphin, you simply take the three hand, but you're gonna cross the index finger and the middle finger, and it's gonna go up and down across your body. That's how you sign dolphin. For the sign dog, there's a couple ways of doing that. I'll show you three of the basic ways. Now, one way is I've seen people, we know dog is spelled D-O-G. What people will do as a shortcut is go D-G. Or I've seen them turn their hand upside down and they'll make the sign G like this, but the middle finger will go and graze the side of the thumb like this. That's kind of between D and G. Or I've seen them tap the side and do that sign with the D and G. So you have these three, three ways of doing it. Either way is fine. Either way is fine. That's how you sign dog. For the sign eagle, you simply take your dominant hand, form an X, and that goes right over the nose and the mouth. That's how you sign eagle. 
For the sign elephant, you're gonna mimic the, the length of the trunk. So take your hand and just go down like this. That's how you sign elephant. For the sign fish, you simply bring your fingers together, stand your hand up on the side, keep the thumb up as if it's the, uh, the uh, fin or the scale. I, I think it's called the fin on the fish. You just simply go for it like this. That's how you sign fish. For the sign fox, you're gonna take an F hand and the circular portion of the F, you're gonna bring that by the nose and the mouth and simply turn it twice like this. That's how you sign fox. For the sign giraffe, we know giraffes have these very long necks, so you're gonna mimic a long neck. You'll take your dominant C hand and you go up the neck. That's how you sign giraffe. For gorilla, we know how, how gorillas tend to beat their chest in the form of dominance, so you just simply, that's the sign for gorilla. For the sign hippo, you're just gonna take both Y hands, now the dominant hand's gonna go on top, you just bring them together like this twice. That's how you sign hippo. For the sign horse, you're gonna take your three hand, the thumb is gonna to touch the temple, but bring the index finger and the middle finger together and you're gonna take those two fingers and bring them forward twice, just like that. These represent the ears on a horse. So that's how you sign horse. For the sign lion, simply take that claw hand, the right claw hand or the dominant claw hand, and it's gonna to pretend to go up the mane of the lion. This is it from the side. That's how you sign lion. For the sign monkey, you simply take the claw hands and you're gonna scratch your sides. That's how you sign monkey. For the sign mouse, you take your one hand and it's gonna brush up against the nose twice. That's how you sign mouse. For the sign owl, we know owls have these very large eyes, so you're gonna mimic the large eyes. Put that right there over the eyes, just like this. That's how you sign owl. For the sign penguin, I've seen it done a couple ways. When I sign penguin, I kinda mimic how they walk, but some people even go as far as bringing their legs up by the chest area and doing the same motion with the body. Either way is fine. That's how you sign penguin. For the sign pig, you simply take your dominant hand, bring it up underneath the chin and go up twice. This is it from the side. That's how you sign pig. For the sign rhino, you make the one hand and this portion of the one hand goes up against the nose. That's how you sign rhino. For the sign rooster, you simply take the three hand and the thumb, the thumb will touch the forehead twice. This is it from the side. That's how you sign rooster. For the sign seal, I've seen it done a couple ways. One popular way is just extending out the hands and clapping twice, but I've also seen the hands the arms cross and then the hands come together this way. But I've also seen this. Either way is fine. Let me show you those from the side. Either way is fine. That's how you sign seal. For the sign snake, you simply mimic fangs, which are the X's, and you just slither across. That's how you sign snake. For the sign tiger, you simply take your claw hands and you go across the face twice. That's how you sign tiger. For the sign turtle, you simply take your non-dominant hand, that becomes a shell, take your A hand of your dominant hand, leave it in place, take the shell, 
which is your non-dominant hand, bring that on top of your dominant hand and your thumb becomes the head of the turtle. This is it from the side. That's how you sign turtle. For the sign wolf, we know wolves are known for the extended nose. So we're gonna just pretend as if we're following the outline of the nose. This is wolf from the front again. That's how you sign wolf. For the sign whale, um, you just simply take your non-dominant hand and this becomes the level of the ocean or the water. Then you take your Y hand and it goes up and down like this. This somewhat mimics the tail and the body come in, in and out of the, the level of the ocean. So that's how you sign whale. For the next sign, it's zebra. Simply take, I say my four hands, and I've seen people do it this way, but I've also seen this representing the different stripes on a zebra's body. Either way is fine. Now, these are my basic signs for animals that you'll use probably on a regular day when you're out there signing. So if you have learned and if you've liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Last but not least, hit that notification button and stay tuned for my next ASL video.